everyone, it's Liz, cancer exercise trainer from the Tucson Cancer Conquerors. Today we're going to do a little bit of cardio along with some punching and kicking. It would be great if you would combine this video with Christian's upper body band workout because a lot of the punches that we do involve our upper body muscles and the band workout she does really makes those stronger. So we're going to start out with just a morning stretch, morning could be afternoon stretch. Uh, take your hands out, mountain pose, way up high, overhead, shoulders down, turn your palms to the outside, big wide circle all the way down. Let's come back up again, palms out, all the way up overhead, palms facing one another, turn your hands out, all the way back down, nice and wide. This time, we're going to clasp our hands behind our back, interlace our fingers, Roll our shoulders out, our elbows in, and flex just from the hips. Forward body, keeping our backs flat. Lift our hands a little bit higher if we can to give ourselves a good hamstring glute stretch. Let's drop our hands, and let's do some big circles to the inside. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go in the reverse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come up. Let's do just a couple quick neck stretches. So pushing our hands down, I want you to reach one hand behind and gently pull down on the wrist. So let that shoulder's away from your ear and tip your head away from that shoulder. And just hold that for just a few seconds. And release, come up. Let's do that one more time. Head away from the shoulder. Pulling down and back to the other side. Go ahead and grab the other forearm. Pull that shoulder down and back. And we're going to tip our head the other way. Nice stretch. Release, come back up. And one more stretch down. Perfect. Let's do some shoulder rolls. If you did this with me the other day, palms together, shoulders come up, elbows go wide, squeeze your back, and back to start. Up, around, that's two. Up, around, that's three. Up, around, that's four. Let's go the other direction. And forward, two, three, Four. We're going to do with some across body stretches. So we're going to come all the way out and back and all the way out. Turn your hand the other way and back. That's two. Sweep it forward. Turn it three. Forward. Four. Turn the hand out. Five. Reach forward. Turn the hand back. Six. Stretch, seven, stretch, and eight. Overhead stretches and stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, We're going to go ahead and stretch out our hips. If you need a chair to hang on to, that's just fine. We want to keep our hips level because when we do kicking, we use our hip flexors and we extend our legs. So we're using our hip flexors and our quads. So hang on to the chair if you need to. Otherwise, you can work on your balance. We're going to bring our leg out behind us and in. That's one. If you want to work on your balance, hands up, out, and in. That's two, in, three. Stretch that hip flexor, out, four. This time when we come back, we're going to use our lower abs to lift our knees. So that hip comes out and back to start, and then the knee gets picked up and brought down. So that's one. Hip out back forward, two, hip out, forward, three, hip out, 
forward, that's four. Let's do the other leg. And again, you can hang on to a chair if you need to. So hip out and in, that's one. Open up that hip flexor, two, keep your hands up, three, again, and four. Woo, and don't fall over. So now we're gonna come back and uh, lift our knee. So out and in, pick up the knee, that's one. So we pick up our knee using our lower abs and our flexors, we're not doing this. So out and in, that's two, out, in, three, out, and in, that's four. Okay, we're going to do some um, leg extensions, opening up our hip flexors again. We're going to swing our leg and our hand's going to go opposite. Nice, dynamic stretch. And if you feel like you're okay with your balance, let's work our hands opposite. So the opposite leg comes forward the same time the opposite hand does. So let's do six, five. If you need a touch down in the back, that's okay. Like this, four, three, that's all right. Two, one, other side. So if you need to hang on, you can. And just work one side, hanging onto a chair or touch down in the back, that's okay. Let's go, that's six, five, four, three, two, and one, great. So now what we'd like to do is we'd like to go ahead and stretch out our glutes. If you have knee issues and you can't flex your knee, you can always take, hang on to the chair and just bring your leg up this high. Keep your knee at a 90 degree angle. We don't want you bent, we want your shoulders back and bring your knee forward. If you can flex your knee farther than that, you can grab your fingers, interlace them, elbows go back, shoulders go back. So it looks like this. We're gonna work on our balance and stretch our glutes and rotate our ankles for five, four, three, two, and one. Other direction, five, four, three, two, and one. You're going to drop your knee. You're going to extend your leg behind you, opening up this flexor. Hands out, slightly bend the front leg and squeeze the back glute. And let's just hold that for five, four, three, two, one. I'll do that from the side this time. So we're working our balance and we're doing some stretches. So we're going to pick up that knee, interlace your fingers, shoulders back, elbows back, and circle our feet. Two, three, if you have to grab onto the chair, that's okay, four, five, other way. Two, three, four, five, drop the knee. You're going to bring it back, extend the leg, squeezing the glute, Hands are out. If you can bend the front knee a little bit and squeeze the glute a little bit more, that's okay. And just hold that. Four, three, two, one. Let's come back up. And let's do that one more time so that we're symmetrical. Knee up, interlace the fingers, shoulders back. Woo, and hang on to a chair if you need to. And let's rotate our ankle. I just taped this whole segment and it disappeared on YouTube somewhere. So my legs are wobbly. Three, two, one. Let's go in reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring that leg back. Open that hip flexor, squeeze that glute. And nice soft front knee. Try not to rotate your hip up. Let's try to keep our hips level. And hold that for just a second. Good, come back up. Okay, we're going to do a warm up. We're going to do some marching. So I'm gonna move this chair out of the way. All the warm up we're doing can either be high impact or low impact. So we're starting with low impact. It looks like this, just some marching, swinging our arms. That looks great. Let's keep going for five, four, three, two, one, we're going to go wide, wide, narrow, narrow. 
Same leg steps out first. So if you're going right, left, together, together, right, left, together, together. Or if you're mirroring me the other way around. So let's try that. One, two, three, that's one, two, two, wide, wide, together, three, four, five, six, seven, wide, wide, together, together, eight, other leg, wide, wide, together, together, that's one, two, wide, wide, together, together, three, four, five, out, out, in, in, six, seven, let's do one more, eight, perfect. So we're going to do monkey squat, wide squat. So monkey squats, our knees together, feet together. When you squat, we don't want your knees coming over your toes. So we want your knees staring where it's staying where they are and you're going to push into the back of your heels. So that's our monkey squat. Looks like this. And then our wide squat looks like this. Then we're gonna come hands together, feet together, and then we're gonna go wide to the other side. So monkey squat and wide squat, monkey squat, wide squat. Let's do it together. One, two, three, that's one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, monkey, wide, eight. Okay, for those of you doing modified, do the same thing. The rest of us will jump. It looks like this. One, two, and then we're gonna jump to the outside. One, two, three, two. Okay, everybody join. Here we go. One, two, three, one. You can keep stepping out if you need to. It looks like this. Three, four, or jump. Two, three, five. Two, three, six. Two, three, seven, two, three, eight. Perfect. So you're gonna do squat jumps. Those of you who aren't gonna jump are going to reach. So it looks like this. Feet and knees shoulder width apart. We're going to squat with our elbows together. We're gonna to stand up. And on the next one, we're gonna squat and push up. And if you wanna go on your toes, that's okay. So we're gonna come down and then all the way down and push up. So elbows are down on the squat and then hands come back and all the way up. So we'll do eight like that. And then the people who are going to jump will jump and modify will keep doing what they're doing. So here we go. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, working on our range of motion. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, five, squat into your heels, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight. Okay, keep doing what you're doing. If you're going to do the modified version, the rest of us will jump. So it's one, two, three, and jump. Here we go. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, jump, one, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, again, just up on your tippy toes if you can't jump, six, I think I add one, seven, two, three, eight, excellent. Going to get a quick drink of water, so get a drink because we've got more cardio to do. You can drink out of your, your fancy schmancy water bottle from TCC. All right, the next thing we're going to do is jumping jacks. Our jumping jacks modified version is step out and back, other foot, and together. So let's all start like that. Here we go, one, two, Three, that's one. Two, three, two, two, three. You always keep weight on the center foot. 
four, two, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Keep doing that. If you're doing the modified version, the rest of us will jump. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight. All right, pick up your jump ropes. Anybody can do this. These jump ropes are really easy. So half the part of jump roping is turning the rope. So you can step while you jump rope. I just want you to keep moving. Or you can shuffle. Or you can jump two feet together, whichever works for you. Are we ready? Here we go. One, two, three. We're just gonna jump for a while. We're not gonna count. I'll watch the clock for a little bit. Let's keep going. Perfect. Let's come forward a little bit. And let's come backwards. So if you're marching, forward and backward. And the shuffle again, forward and backwards. Let's crisscross. I know you all know how to do this from days gone by. Or one side, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, crisscross. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, high knees. Two, three, four. If you're marching, just march faster. Five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. All right, we're gonna do a football run and then we'll move to something else. So our football run is the run the football players do in, pay, in place. So facing me, away from me, and then whichever direction I tell you to go. So, it looks like this. Ready, set, go. Everybody, let's run. Run in place, if you can just march in place, that's okay. Run, 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 we're all gonna turn this way. Here we go, run, run, run. And back towards me. And let's turn this way. And away from me. And face me again. And freeze. Perfect, all right, so we're gonna take a couple of bands just to demonstrate something. Kristen's doing this in her workout, but because we use all these upper body muscles in punching, I wanted to go over a couple. So take your loop band, one hand goes down, the other hand faces up. The hand that faces up is gonna to touch your shoulder. The hand that faces down is gonna lock at your side both elbows are against your body, and we're going to push down and back up for triceps. Or we'll go down two and up two because we don't want to get slack up here. So we're just going to do one set on each side because I know Kristen's doing this in her workout. So let's try this. Down, that's one, two, three. These are our jab muscles, our extensors, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Since we're only doing 10, let's do 15. One, two, three, four, and five. Tricep on the other side. Palms facing each other, or backs of hands facing each other. Palm goes on the shoulder, hangs on, elbows down, elbow down. Here we go, and one. Two, elbow stays locked at the side, three, Abs are tight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Kristen is showing you chair versions of these. So I'm just going to show you the kneeling version. If you have a chair, slip your TheraBand on you so you don't fall. And once you get that on, because some people can't do this from their knees, they have bad knees. So the chair is just fine. Again, follow Kristen's workout for that. Elbow against my side, palm is up. I'm going to flex and release. Let's go up, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Looks like this. Elbows at the side. Two, three, four, and five. Let's switch legs. You'll need to do these sets on your own because we have a lot to cover today. All right. So we're going to go make two L's with our legs. We don't want our knee over our toe, so step that foot out farther if you need to. Elbows locked at the side and one, two. Abs are tight, shoulders back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, now I'm going to do five more, 10, and one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take that band off. A nice exercise for our back muscles is hands facing each other. Again, more muscles required for good punching. We're going to open our hands wide and bring it back to keep tension. Let's do 15 and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Grab your therabands, put them down on the floor. Grab the bands about, oh, just a little above your knees. A couple other exercises you can do at home for your back. Going to bend, fold at the hips, not bend at the waist. Backs are straight, we're going to pull straight back. If there's not enough tension, grab down a little bit further, but elbows are tight, straight back, we're doing rows. It looks like this, and one, two, three, abs are tight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do five more since we're only doing one set. One, two, three, four, and five. Same position. Going to work on our middle deltoid. We're gonna do some um, standing flies. And we're just going to bring our hands out. Here we go, thumbs up. Two, abs are tight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do front raises. Hands come up, shoulder height, abs are tight, shoulders are back, and it's up. That's one, glutes are tight, two, three, four. Don't ever wrap your bands around your hands if you're at risk for lymphedema. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more for our backs. You can use a loop band or you can use your TheraBand. One arm is out straight, the other elbows up, pulling straight back, just like we're going to shoot an arrow in your stance. So we'll just do 10 on each side. Here we go, and back. That's one, two. Don't let your hand get pulled this way. Use those shoulder muscles to keep it straight. Five, six, Oh, all the fun things you can do with bands when you and I get done here. Eight, nine, ten. Switch arms. This one straight, thumbs up. And this thumb's pointing towards me. And one. If it's not hard enough, choke up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, a couple punches. I don't know what happened with the last video. I might have gotten cut off. So 
we're gonna jump right in here. We're going to do uh, just regular jabs. So hands are up, I'm going to punch straight out and straight out. So power comes from our hip and our body with our jab. So here we go, we're gonna do four. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna do hooks. One, two, three, four, and then we're gonna do uppercuts. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's do that a couple times. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, uppercut, three, four, jab, two, three, four, hook, two, three, four, uppercut, two, three, four. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can do this with water bottles, or if you have two or three pound weights, it works perfectly. I'm going to do some cross body punches. Looks like this and back. So punch and back. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This works great with one or two pound weights. So if you've got them, do it. Let's go five more, four, three, two, and one. Other side, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. We're going to do uh, some boxer shuffles. So we can either step, so we stand sideways, you step forward with the front foot and you're going to punch and you're going to come back. So step forward, punch, come back, punch, come back. Or you can do the boxer shuffle, punch and back. So you choose whatever level of difficulty you'd like and here we go, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, four, step, five, you can even go slow if you need to, six, do single time, seven, one, two, three, eight, two, three, nine, two, three, ten, on our way to the other side, we're going to speed bag, so if you're doing low impact, just march, the speed bag is the thing that hangs from the ceiling that we hit, or boxer shuffle, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, four, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, step and punch and come back or shuffle. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three. That's four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do speed bag. Two, three, one. You can also march. Two. Pick up your knees if you're marching. Two, three, four. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Let's go ahead and stretch our arms. Again, that's really great with some light weights. Two, three pounds. If you don't have weights, two water bottles. Stretch over. All right, perfect. Let's do a little bit with our legs. You can use a chair if you need to. We want to go ahead and stretch our glutes. This is a little bit of balance and a little bit of stretch. So if you have uh, poor flexibility in your knees, you can do this by just holding on under your thigh. So you can either hang on to the chair while you do this or interlace your fingers underneath. If you have good flexibility and you can flex your knee, bring your knee up. No shoulders forward, shoulders back, elbows low. And let's roll our ankle. Four, three, two, one. The other way, five, four, three, 
two, one. Then we're going to drop the leg. If you need to hang on to the chair, you can, but we're going to push it behind us, squeeze our glute, open our hip flexor, bend that front knee, hips level, hand out, and slowly come up. Let's do that one more time. Pick up that knee, shoulders back. We're not going to ankle roll this time. We're going to work on our balance. Drop that leg behind you. Extend the knee. Flex the glute. Hands out. Keep the chair by you so you don't fall over. And perfect. Let's do the other side. Again, if you can't flex your knee, just hold on underneath the thigh. If you can, Give that glute a good stretch and interlace your fingers, shoulders back. Work on your balance. Here we go. Let's hold, let's do ankle rolls. Two, three, four, five. Other way. One, two, three, four, five. Bring that foot to the back. Extend the knee. Open that hip. Bend that front leg. Extend the arm. Squeeze that back glute. Let's hold it there. Three, two, one. Let's do that one more time, but without the ankle rolls. So bring that knee up, shoulders back, elbows tight. If you have to put a hand on the chair, that's okay. Release that leg, bring it back, open that hip. Squeeze that back glute. And it looks like this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come back up and let's shake it out. So we're going to do knee ups. So we're using our lower abs for this and our hip flexors. Your knee is a pretty good weapon. It's pretty hard and it's strategically placed if someone's got you. So you'd be grabbing your hands around that person's neck and you'd be driving the knee up. So we're gonna drive our knee up. Here we go, let's pull it up, that's one. Knee up, two, knee up, three. Let's go, four, up, five. Knee up, six, put that leg behind you so you can bring it forward powerfully. Seven, knee up hard, eight, nine, 10. Let's go other side, other hand back. Someone's got you, you've got your hands around their neck and you are gonna use your knee. Let's go up, that's one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, drive that knee, up, eight, lower abs, and up, 10. Perfect. Let's work on doing a front kick. So grab some water really quick. If ever you need to pause the video, just do it, I forget. All right, so you can either hold on to the chair or not. We're going to work on our hip flexors. So we're going to bend our knee, we're going to extend our leg, bend our knee, and put our foot back in our stance. So we're just doing a low kick. So legs behind, pick up the knee, kick, and come back. All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way. Hands are up. Leg forward, kick out, bring it back and behind. We'll just do nice low kicks, just focusing on your form. So it's one, two, three, that's one. Here we go. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. Part of it is I want you to get your balance. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five and kick, six, kick, seven, kick, eight, kick, nine, kick, 10, let's do five more, kick, one, two, three, four, five. Remember, you can hang on to the chair I just want you to have good form, pick your leg up, extend it, bring it back, and bring it behind you. Up and behind. Let's do the other side. This leg's back, gonna pick it up, extend it, and bring it back. So let's do that up, that's one, 
one, two, three, two, kick, three, kick, work on your balance, four, five, six, seven, eight, nice low kicks, nine, and 10. Perfect. We're gonna work on stretching our inner thighs. You guys can repeat these exercises as much as you like. I just wanted to make sure we got everything in today. So let's stretch our inner thighs. Feet are a little bit wide. We're gonna push back into our heels and stretch this inner thigh. Let's come back up, push back, stretching that out. Come back.